Hi everyone, my name is Rosa and I'm a Youth Services Librarian with the Vaughan Public Libraries. Some of you might recognize me from the Dufferin Clark Public Library branch where I run the Born to Read and Reading Buddies programs. Today I'm going to show you an activity that flips a drawing through the science of refraction of light. I learned this activity from a website called coolscienceexperiments.com which will be linked down below. The materials that you're going to need for this activity are a glass full of water, some paper, to draw on or a napkin if you're at a restaurant, some markers or crayons, pencil crayons, even a pen, anything to draw with on the paper. I've gone ahead and pre-drawn some arrows on a sheet of paper, one at the top and one at the bottom. Feel free to draw whatever you like. So the reason why that glass of water flips the image it's placed in front of is because of a physics concept called refraction, which is the bending of light when it travels from one medium to another. So for example, from air to water or from water to air. Light refracts or bends as it passes from one medium to the next because it travels at different speeds through each different medium. In our activity, light bent when it traveled through the glass into the water and then it bent again when it traveled out of the glass and into the air. As a result, the light paths crossed and the image that was behind that glass of water appeared to be flipped. Depending on the size of the glass or jar you use, or where you place or position the paper, the glass, or your own viewpoint, your inverted image may appear larger, smaller, or the same size, but it will always appear inverted. You can extend this activity even further by using a different size of glass, or you can place the glass closer or farther away from the image and see the difference in how that image appears with each of these modifications. Thank you for stopping by and watching. If you enjoy your videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to see more educational activities and videos for kids, head on over to our YouTube channel. Find us by searching for Vaughn Public Libraries in the YouTube search bar. Until next time, please stay safe and goodbye.